many drugs uh, have uh, toxic effects, uh, particularly on the heart. For this reason, we need to have a reliable model in the laboratory to be able to test these drugs before they hit the market. Animal research is fundamental for toxicity uh, testing, but uh, animal uh, heart tissue does not necessarily replicate the behavior of the human heart. Currently, we can uh, uh, grow uh, cells from the skin, for example, and make them into heart cells. And in addition, these heart cells develop some of the features of the heart. However, these features are not completely identical to the heart cells in the heart because they tend to be round, tend to be rather slow in their activity, simply because they're not challenged by the environment. The heart is a very dynamic organ which beats continuously, subjected to very high pressures, and these are not present in culture. We have started from a simple approach. The first thing is that cells in the heart are elongated, are cylindrical, so we try to grow them into lines. And in collaboration with the biomedical engineering um, department at Imperial College at the University of Southampton, we have developed new materials and new patterning of these cell culture structures to uh, allow the cells to grow into lines and to beat more regularly. And we have already uh, published um, some of our research that shows that this is effective. If we are successful in developing this, uh, we will be able to reduce dramatically the number of animals used for research and avoid uh, the effects that drugs can have on patients at a later stage.